A little breaking news update on the controversial casino in Kenosha. A big march asking Governor Walker to approve that project. Meantime, a former executive with the Potawatomi tribe says the governor should approve the casino. Charles Benson is live to explain why. Charles. Well, the Potawatomi have repeatedly warned that they would lose millions of dollars and thousands of jobs here if there is a Kenosha casino. But today, a big surprise from the former chief financial officer who concedes he was asked to leave last year, but says the Potawatomi's worries are significantly inflated. In a letter, Kurt Schmidt urges Governor Walker to approve the Kenosha Hard Rock project, saying any negative impact on the Potawatomi casino would be minimal and easily overcome. The increase in jobs in Kenosha is going to significantly outweigh uh, any negative uh, impact to jobs in Milwaukee. Uh, did the Menominee ask you to write this letter? No. Schmidt believes the job loss in Milwaukee is closer to 300 versus 3,000 that the Potawatomi claim. The tribe says Schmidt has his facts wrong and that he's well aware the Kenosha Casino would have a $158 million annual impact on Potawatomi. Menominee's chairman disputes Potawatomi's claim that the market is saturated and that the Menominee can't keep their promises to help the opposing tribes. There's money to go around, the market's not saturated, and we can you know, we're confident that we can cover any potential losses that they may have. It's a win-win situation. Now, Governor Walker hinted again today that the Menominee have yet to get consent from all the other tribes. The Potawatomi remain opposed. So what do you think? We want you to go to our poll on Facebook, hit like if you support the Kenosha Casino, and share if you don't. We're live outside Potawatomi. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Okay, Charles, thank you very much.